everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another buy it or pass it. I know I typically only do these once a month, but there are some new releases that I'm kind of excited about that I wanted to go ahead and talk about because I know they are coming up actually this week. And if you were watching this video, um, the one I am most excited about would have released yesterday. But we will get all into that in just a moment. Um, I do have some good news. Samantha March, which is the original creator of the Will I Buy It series, has created a community tab for all the creators that do this kind of series. And I have been so blessed to be able to be a part of this. So I will have the playlist link, link down below. That way, if you love these types of videos, you can definitely check out other creators that do these as well. I could sit here and watch these kind of videos for like hours. So that is super exciting. And once again, thank you to Samantha March for doing that. I think that is so awesome. Um, and I just really appreciate it that I get to be a part of it. So um, if you guys are not already subscribed, please don't forget to hit that big red button before you go. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified of any videos that I have. I normally upload every Monday and Friday. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those all linked down below for you guys. So the very first item I have for you guys is KKW. KKW is coming out with a new collection. Um, it is called the Classic Collection. She is coming out with the eyeshadow palette four peach cream lipsticks and four cream lip liners or of course you can get the whole bundle for 150 dollars um so let's start with the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow palette it looks like kim okay um those are her colors definitely but it also looks like my kkw mario palette um, I feel like most of these colors I already have in here. I'm not saying that they're going to be exact, but they look pretty similar. Um, you know, I missed out on the Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills collection. I was really, really sad about that. So when I saw that he was doing the collab with KKW, um, I was super, super stoked. I love this palette so much. I actually have it on my eyes today. Um, I even or have been wearing this to work. I just love this palette so much, but I do not think that I will be purchasing this palette just because of the fact that it is so similar. She would have to come out with a different color scheme or some more pops of color in order for me to buy another palette from her. Um, this just looks too repetitive. Now, the cream lipsticks, I am interested in trying her formula. Um, I've heard really, really good things, especially the lipsticks that came with this collection. Um, however, at this point in time, I'm going to hold off. The lipsticks are $18 each. She has a light peach, a pinky peach, a mid-tone coral, and a burnt red. Um, and then same thing with the lip liners. I am not a lip liner person, so that is already going to be a no for me. Um, those are only $12 a piece, uh, which are supposed to be matching the shades and the lipsticks. So as of right now, uh, I am passing over this whole collection. I will completely pass over the eyeshadow palette and the lip liners. Um, maybe in the future I would definitely like to try her lipsticks, but for right now it's going to be a no. Next item, Pat McGrath is coming out with 10 new lipsticks. Now I have been <laughs> more so into lipsticks lately. I do have a drawer that is starting to kind of fill up, but these lipsticks are $38 a piece. That is an expensive lipstick. Oh my gosh. Um, the colors are really, really pretty. I've heard some really good things about Pat McGrath lipsticks, but I just don't think I can bring myself to buy, I'm sure with tax, a $40 lipstick. That's just a little too expensive. Just a little, just a little. <laughs> Or should we say way too expensive? It's way too expensive um, for my taste. So I will definitely be passing over any um, Pat McGrath lipsticks that come out. Um, there would have to be like a super sale in order for me to buy one of these guys. So up next is a brand that I recently tried. It is from Elemis. 
I want to say that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. Um, I did receive their exfoliator in my FabFitFun unboxing. I have been testing that out, and I actually really enjoy it. I enjoy the smell. I feel like it's actually working on my skin, and I just, I have loved it so, so much. I'm sad because I'm actually almost out. However, on Trend Moon's website, she did say that they will be coming to Ulta, and they will be coming with three small starter kits, which I'm super excited for. Um... So the first kit is called the Superfood Kit. Um, it is the Get Nourished and Glow $25 Facial Wash Day Cream and Night Cream. Uh, the second kit is called Peptide. It is Wake Up Beautiful $35 Foaming Facial Wash. Uh, the Soothing Apricot Toner, Papaya Enzyme Peel, and the Night Recovery Cream Oil. And then the, uh, the third one that you can get is the Pro Collagen Get Younger Looking Skin $45 cleansing balm, marine cream, marine oil, and a pouch. Um, so I would definitely be interested in purchasing the superfood one. I know there's supposed to be minis, but $25 is not that bad to test out three different uh, mini products. So I will definitely probably be picking this up. On the Trend Mood website, it says it was available online on July 15th, but it will be in stores August 12th. So I'll definitely have to get online and check that out. Um, like I said, I have really been enjoying what I have tried so far. So this is something that I'm definitely really considering. I am probably going to wait till August 12th to see it in store to, so I can kind of tell how small the mini size is going to be. Um, and then I will make my final decision in store. Fenty Beauty is coming out with a new kilowatt highlighter. It is just one highlighter and it is silver boy oh boy is it silver it is called the diamond ball out kilowatt highlighter um i'm very picky with my highlighters anyway i love highlighters i love hi a good highlight um but i tend to lean more towards like gold and champagnes this silver color it just looks too bold to be putting on my cheek. I don't think I could rock it. I don't think I could get away with it. Yeah, I could use it as a eyeshadow, but um, that would be a mighty expensive eyeshadow because I think they're like $35, $38. I can't really remember. I will definitely have everything listed down below for you guys. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be passing this. It is a solid silver highlight that is just going to be way too strong for my skin tone. And I don't really even like a silver highlight, it's like pure silver. And it kind of reminds me of that Wet n Wild one that they came out with. And I definitely passed over that one as well. Also coming from KKW, she has some new fragrances coming out. She has the uh, Kimoji, Ki Kimoji Cherry, uh, Kimoji Peach, and one called Kimoji Vibes. I really don't know what that would smell like. Oh, it has a list of what it would smell like. So of course, the cherry says it includes notes of juicy red cherry, luscious raspberry, sweet strawberry, cherry blossom, gardenia petals, vanilla, woods, and musk. Um, the peach includes notes of juicy peach, fresh nectarine, jasmine petals, peach blossoms, creamy vanilla woods, and musk. And the vibes one includes notes of watermelon, bergamot, never heard of that. Uh, juicy pineapple, apple blossom, peony petals, fresh jasmine, cedar wood, sun kissed amber, and musk. That sounds like a lot of different things going on. Um, I do think the packaging is very cute. It's a lot better than the, the whole nude body situation that she had going on with the last one. So I can't appreciate the packaging. The only problem is, is you know, perfumes are so personal. Um, everybody is completely different when it comes to their sense of smell. This is something that I would have to actually smell in person. So I would not be able to purchase a perfume from her online. I just can't do it. I need to be able to smell it to see if I'm going to enjoy it. And then I can make a purchase. That is how I purchase every single perfume. I've never purchased a perfume online without even smelling it. I know it tells me the descriptions, but it can smell really awful and then I would be stuck with a perfume that is really expensive that I can't return. 
<laughs> so that is definitely going to be a no. Urban Decay has come out with a new little mini palette. Um, it is their aphrodisiac palette. I like the purple packaging, but I really have every single one of these colors. I have the light mattes. I have the dark mattes. I have the gold shade. I have the cranberry shade. These are all shades that I have. This would literally be just a waste of money. And it is just not something that I can buy a mini of. So, especially if I have them in my collection. I'm sure you have them in your collection. I'm pretty sure you don't need this. So this is gonna be a pass. So on the next item, it's not really makeup, but it is part of beauty. Um, Impressions Vanity actually has come to Ulta. They have released two of their mirrors online at Ulta. I have been wanting a vanity mirror from Impressions Beauty for quite some time. However, they're not cheap. So online, they have the two. They have the LED hand mirror with the charging stand for $59. So it's, it is a portable mirror. You charge it and then you pick it up and use it as a hand mirror. Um, and then they have the Touch Pro LED makeup mirror with Bluetooth and USB charger for $119. That is really expensive. Even if we were to wait for the 20% off coupon, that's a really expensive mirror. Um, I will say, if you are patient, okay, and you check out Marshalls, you will be able to find, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find an Impressions Vanity Mirror. Um, I just found one actually this past weekend. Um, I don't really want to blind you guys, but you can see it works just fine. I have my light um, turns on and this one dims just as well. Yes, this is battery operated but this was only $16. It was only $16 from Marshalls and it has the little stand. You can see that it is from Impressions. And I kid you not when I say this was in the box, brand new, hadn't been touched. They had like 30 of these guys. So if you are looking for an Impressions vanity mirror, check Marshalls, just check Marshalls. Don't go spend $119 um, at Ulta for a mirror when this is just perfectly, when this is good as well. No, it doesn't have the Bluetooth and the rechargeable battery. I can, I have to actually put batteries in it, but you can always buy rechargeable AA batteries. That's, that's not a big deal. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, I really do enjoy this mirror. It is a very good quality mirror. Um, and I'm just excited that I got it for $16. So, all right, up next we have a new release date for the round three of the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palettes. Um, I was looking forward to buying this. However, there were a lot of issues and Jaclyn and Morphe decided, you know what? We are not gonna let you guys buy this. We're going to stop everything, pause, regroup, reformulate, pre-press, whatever it is that they had to do. They went back and they fixed it. They fixed all the problems that they, uh, that people said that they were having when they received their PR packages. And I really, really appreciate that. So that makes me even more excited to buy it this time around because I know that the quality is definitely going to be there. This is something that they've worked really hard on. This is something that they have made sure is gonna to be top quality for my dollars that I'm gonna be spending. And that's something that I can really appreciate. So the new release date um, is August 14th. So that's just gonna be right around the corner. I do plan on using Trend Mood's code, which is um, just the code Trend Mood to receive 10% off, or you could use, um, there's all different kinds of codes that you can use from all the beauty influencers. So um, I would just pick a code, I mean 10% off, any, any little bit helps. <laughs> of course, I will be picking up the whole entire vault. It just kind of makes more sense to me that way. And I do like the fact that she has different eyeshadow palettes um, with their color selections and it's not just kind of all over the place. She's got one that's like purples and pinks and then she's got ones that's like greens and blues and then another one that's yellows and oranges. So I really do like the different palette sets. So I'm super, super excited about this. I, like I said, I really appreciate all the hard work that they are putting in this. Um, you know, I'm sure with everything that they had ready to go, that was just so awesome of them, what they did. So they said, no, you know, just wait a little bit longer, let us fix the problem, and then we can do this again. So 
I will be picking it up. All right, guys, we got two more items. So the first item is the new Wet n Wild collection. They came out with the new Zodiac collection. Now, when I first saw this, I was kind of excited about it. I'm a Scorpio. I love anything kind of like Zodiac related. So super excited about this. So the collection includes um, Mega Glow highlighting bars. They have air, fire, earth, and water, which I had planned on picking up water if I can find it at Walmart. Um, they have four different eyeshadow palettes, which look ridiculous like those colors are so close together they're it's odd shaped it's not even even i just that's a hard pass that is a hard pass i can look at that and be like eh, no 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 so not gonna be getting those um the glosses i do plan on picking up the gloss that has scorpio on it um and the loose highlighting powder i was interested in but I'm going to be passing up because of the next collection. Ah, the next collection I am so freaking excited about. It is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collection. They came out with their own Zodiac. Um, so it kind of makes me want to put Wet n Wild completely to the side. But then again, Wet n Wild is like four or five bucks. So I'll probably still be picking that up as well. Um, but I do plan on getting this whole entire collection from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Um, they are coming out with an eyeshadow palette, uh, which is $18. It does include a mirror. They're coming out with two Lux lipsticks, which are $7 each. I have not tried their Lux lipstick formula, um, but I have really wanted to. They are coming out with two Super Shock highlighters, which are $8 a piece. I have not tried that formula. Super excited to try that. Um, and of course the two supernova shadows for seven dollars a piece oh my gosh does this not look beautiful it looks so freaking beautiful the packaging <sighs> it speaks to me it calls my name it says buy me it says Cassie what are you doing with your life <laughs> this is everything that I want oh my gosh and I have to say that I am kind of excited that the Scorpio is on the front of the eyeshadow palette because I expected it to be on the back, but hey. Uh, so <laughs> I'm excited about that. The eyeshadow palette colors, I think they're beautiful. I can't wait to work with them. The supernova shadows, oh my God, look at that gold. Look at that gold. It is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to get those on my eyes. The Super Shock highlighters, one looks a little dark, but I definitely want to try both out. Um, maybe I can get it to work. If not, I can just use it on my eyes. The lipsticks are so pretty, right up my alley. Love the colors. I want the whole collection. I do. I want the whole collection. Um, if I can't, I swear, I will buy everything individually. It doesn't even matter because <laughs> I just want everything <laughs> it has been a very long time where a whole collection has came out and i literally wanted everything everything have i said every yeah everything so you guys will be seeing this video after the release date so hopefully fingers crossed i will have been able to buy the whole collection since this video is coming out after the release date it will be available online at color pop cosmetics so ah oh, crossing my fingers i get that one i cannot wait i can't wait like you see my eyes lighting up yeah i'm just so excited ah oh. I love it. I love it when new makeup releases make me this excited. Like I could sit here and I could like do my little happy dance. But <laughs> so that is it, guys. That is it for this buy it or pass it. I hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to check out that community playlist um, that I will have linked down below for you guys. If this is your kind of video that you love to watch, you will definitely want to check out that playlist because there's going to be some great creators on there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.